Hello friends, welcome to Keyframes Online. I am Abhishek Inamdar. Today we will see uh, bedroom design, how to uh, do bedroom design in 3D Max. So let's get started. I'll take, uh, just we will see, uh, go to customize, go to unit setup, unit setup. One unit is one and that is inches. That means your 3D Max scale is one unit, generic units is one inches. So no need to uh, modify your mm inches from here. So I'll say okay or else if there is any changes like feet or something like that you can change of course to inches and say okay i'll say okay and do reset after that so now i'll take a box for a reference i'll make a bedroom say 140 by 130 it's a typical size of the bedroom so here I'll say 140 length width will be 130 something like this and I'll take another box I'll say snap 2.5 I'll say end point like this this is for duct area now I'll say 12 and I'll say 53 uh oh num lock say 53 and 12 yes so this is a perfect duct size for a bedroom where we can keep cupboards so now I'll go to spline now I'll make like this I'll go to now you select the box geometry of the snap we don't want all these things this is a nice way to get a proper measurements in 3d max I'll click on spline outline will be 9 inches outer wall is 9 inches and inner wall is 6 inches I'll go to extrude now if you say 120 it is proper realistic size of a ceiling that is a 10 feet so now for working purpose it's okay I'll make a view like this here will be cupboard here will be bed Control C, get a camera, go to top view, again I'll take modify extrude point one for a plane. Point two, point three. Fine. Now I'll just save my scene. Now this is looks good. Now I'll import the bed. Merge say models take a bed I say all group 
से बेड Slightly, this is absolutely just realistic model. I have taken the model from Evermotion, a uh, very good library, and of course, this is a very realistic um, measurements are there. So, slightly, I'll increase uh, the bed because uh, limitations of uh, designing, or else we can uh, continue with the same. I'll make the back side. <coughs> I'll make the back side with another box. And hole will be wooden. I'll say auto grid. So now I'll take some segments. I'll go to irritable poly, irritable poly, select the edges. I'll say chamfer. Say OK. Now I'll we'll again select those edges or may directly use this polygon tool. You select these edges, I'll say ring. Select these edges. Select the edges. Say ring. Mm. Say control. Press control and say. Now I want here also, so let it be, I'll go to in perspective, H, I'll say ring, I'll say control polygon and I'll say now extrude inside. The grooves we have to create a groove so this much is fine say ok this now we have to keep one cupboard so I'll go to left view I'll go in spline start new shape auto grid off so modify convert to red as a spline select those vertices Select outline, say extrude, then 
just go in top arrange it proper little bit has to come out generally it is 19 inches cupboard is 19 inches so i'll keep one rectangle like this kind of what to a little spline as six should duplicate this one like this for walking we can hide this wall slightly inside like this so it can be slided generally we can keep uh, um aluminum co uh, frame framing for aluminum framing for this doors so it looks very nice so now it's okay so we'll keep one lamp over this side and side table it will be very simple press control on keyboard it will be proper square convert to variable spline go to extrude 5 slightly till here wow the bed is floating like this select the box it press r and press shift make a copy like this place over here press t top f3 for wire frame shift i can make a copy shift i can make a copy now here we'll place one make move w shift drag top little bit crease this like this this much height now i'll take a box now again i'll take a spline rectangle press shift or i can make this copy it's better shift this one to here go to spline 
so let's spline say scale Slightly, we can come down. So we'll make the SS steel and we'll make glass, and here we'll give the wooden texture. And so in part two, um, we'll see the texturing part of bedroom design. So in this tutorial, if you have any doubts, uh, do let me know on my comment box of YouTube. Uh, if you if you want some particular tutorial, do let me know what kind of tutorial you want to know from Keyframes Online. So I'll try to make uh, that. This bedroom design was came uh, last week. So when I when I did my kids bedroom design, so that time I received a comment. So so here it is. Uh, so that's why uh, I can make tutorials for you. And uh, then see you on second part.